Pineapple University is brought to you by Hack5 and viewers like you. Support us directly at hakshop.com. Hello and welcome to Pineapple University. I'm Darren Kitchen and today we are going to get our Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark V configured. We have it right here, it's newly unboxed and I have my ethernet cable plugged into it already. The other end of that is plugged into my laptop here and I'm actually going to be using Windows to set this up the first time. And now, most importantly, we are going to use wall power. So if you, say, got a Wi-Fi pineapple with a battery pack, this is not the time. Go ahead and leave that on the charger, put it there so it'll be all juiced up and ready to go for when you're you know, ready for your first deployment. But for setting up the firmware, which is what we're doing in this video, we want to make sure we're using the wall adapter. I'm going to go ahead and plug that guy in here. And I am going to break out the manual. So, of course, inside the manual, in addition to these beautiful little uh, Wi-Fi pineapple decals, we also find our firmware notes. In fact, attached to this is the micro SD card. So go ahead and pull that off and just pop it into the side here. And it's one of those little spring-loaded guys, so you, you go ahead and push that, it'll pop right back out. Real simple. It will not boot without the micro SD card and on the first boot you need to go ahead and load the firmware. So the reason that we do this is we provide with uh, every Wi-Fi Pineapple the latest version of the firmware. So you always get the freshest pick and this way uh, you know your Wi-Fi Pineapple will be set up and ready to use optimally from the get-go. So just pull that off, pop it in there and we're ready to just go ahead and power on. I'll just provide it some power here from included adapter and the first thing you'll notice all the lights come on the green light indicates that we have power and in just a moment that yellow light will blink to uh, indicate that it's looking for the firmware files once it's found the firmware files it'll begin flashing and we'll notice a solid blue light at which point we just simply wait five minutes Let's do that. And after a five minute wait, we can tell that our Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark V is ready for setup on the computer. We get this nice little display of LED firework goodness here, and that means we can come over to our computer, and it's really as simple as just launching a web browser. If you do the ethernet cable directly from your computer to the pineapple, it's automatically going to assign you an IP address from DHCP, so there's no need to mess around with anything static. And it's simply just a matter of pulling up your web browser and heading over to 172.16.42.1 colon 1471. So the address needs to look just like that. That colon 1471 is important. We go there and we'll be presented with our welcome to the pineapple. And we simply click continue. And first things first, we're going to set a password. And this should be a good one, so go ahead and give it a good password. Type that in twice. And we accept the EULA and the license agreement and set our password. And at this point, the pineapple is mostly finished configuring itself. It's just going to do one last reboot to initialize the system. And then in just a moment, this area right here will go ahead and say continue. And at that point, we should be done. And we can come over here and see we are in fact rebooting. We have our blinking blue LED to indicate that and our solid green to indicate that we have power. So it'll be just a moment. And we've completed booting. We have our amber LED here to indicate that we're connected via this ethernet cable. And if I look back over at my web browser, I can see, in fact, all I have to do is click continue here and give it the password that I've provided. And maximize that, and there we go. I'm logged in for the first time and ready to start having so much fun with the Wi-Fi Pineapple. I hope you're following along, and I hope you join us at uni.wifipineapple.com, where you can find more videos and examples and lessons and all of the links to the resources, such as the forums and the chat, because I will be there, as well as the rest of the community welcoming you. And with that, I'm going to say, class dismissed.